YouTube, what's up? It's your girl Miss Tink. That's M I C Z, not M I S S. Yes, I'm in the car today. I took my sister to her job interview. So good luck, T. Baby, get the job. You gonna do it? You know. Of course, I have to help out the family. But we're here to talk about Empire. Uh, it was really good. I liked the season finale. Like I said, I was cool if the season finale was last week, but this season uh, season finale was pretty cool too. So let's go and get into it, y'all. Okay. And if I miss anything, put it down in the comments. Okay. Took my little notes, but me and my bestie was so into it. I think I forgot a little bit stuff. So, so whatever I forget, correct me. Okay. Let's get into it. Okay. So it's three weeks later, and we see that Jamal wasn't dead which I figured like Lee Daniels would not kill off one of the main characters um so they're having this welcome home or whatever get well soon whatever party um he's looking all you know because it looked like he was in a dream I thought it was a dream at first but you know he's snapping back to reality they all happy to see him and stuff and then we see the beautiful V singing you know her song Lucia's over there playing the piano like like you wasn't the cause of all of this dumb shit but whatever and you know everybody's just all happy and stuff Jamal on the other hand he like mm. I guess, you know, he's just in his moment. And then that's when Hakeem says, you know what, I want you to sing this song at my wedding, you know, and everything. I want Jamal and V to sing it. And Jamal told me, I ain't singing on my own. Like, I done got shot. I done seen the light. I turned away from the light. The Lord said, you know, I'm going to give you another chance. But he wants me to do my life in a different way. And singing ain't it. You know, Cookie, like, you know what, he just tripping right now. Let him chill or whatever. Andre is going to be the damn minister. Like, duh, go figure and stuff like that. And then Lucia's over there trying to thank him and stuff. Talking about you jumped in the bullet. Jumped in front of a bullet for me and all that stuff and you know jamal like nigga please look um at the end of the day how is philo she's a victim too trust me i believe that you killed her daddy so she's hurting too fuck you mean i just did the shit out of instinct but that don't mean i'm happy about the shit this ain't something to be happy about we all victims not you lucius but damn show me and uh philo so fuck off but you know it is what it is when he say he ain't doing music they all like oh lord you know so Wills is going to get his ass back into music or whatever, so it's going to be all right, Jamal. I understand you upset, baby, but it's going to be all good. It's going to be all good. Let's go and get to some more shit. All right, so why they all talking or whatever, um, we see, you know, Mama Walker, she over there eating. I was like, okay, so I guess um, she didn't really spill the beans or whatever. So she started talking or whatever, talk about um, the kids are basically paying for his daddy's sins or whatever. And, you know, Lucia's looking like, what the fuck? And um, that's when Hakeem was like, Dad, I thought you told us that, you know, Grandpa was a cop. And, you know, that's when Lucia's, his old lying ass, start lying. Talking about, well, you know, my daddy was a cop or whatever. And then that's when he tell, you know what, Mama Walker, it's time for you to go ahead and let's Let's, let's let's get you some rest. Uh, Juanita, come on, Juanita. He's sitting up here, uh, get, pick her up or whatever. And Mama Walker, she killed it. She talking about, if you don't stop squeezing my arm, my damn foot, no, my uh, my foot's going to, no, what she said, because I got to say it right, y'all, because this was shit, so y'all forgive me. She said, you keep squeezing my arm, and I'm going to check your damn mouth with my foot. I say, yes. Mama Walker, like, bitch, I'll fuck you up. Old and all, you done left me alone, I will still fuck you ass up. All up. I was like, get up. Well, get him. But we all know. Lucia's talking about I would tell my family the truth or whatever about my past when I'm ready. And she looking like, nigga, you need to tell them the truth before they find out. Your ass been lying for umpteen years and now your ass trying to shoot me away. And he was like, well, I need to get her. Get, get her some medicine so she can go lay down. All the sh I ain't got time to deal with this shit. And then, then he escorts her. But I also... Not I also, but he also talking about, you know, thank God that Thirsty basically grabbed your ass before you blabbed your mouth, blabbed your, um, your damn gums to the damn press about who the fuck you really are. So, obviously, you know, I'm guessing she didn't get a chance because you know what he said. But, you know, Thirsty, where the fuck was you at for her to get out there if you was on, you know, on her toes so quickly? But we shall see. Let's go and get to some more shit. All right, next we see Cookie and Lucia's talking. She's talking about she worried about Jamal and all this stuff. They in the office or whatever. And that's when um, Boo Boo Kitty come in and talking about, can I talk to you in private, Lucia's? Lucia's like, nigga, we don't have no secrets here, bitch. What you talking about? You need to talk to me in private. So that's when um, Boo Boo Kitty says, you know what? I got picked up by the damn feds or whatever. They want me to testify. I'm not going to testify against you. They brought up some uh, motherfucker named Shine or whatever. And then um, Cookie was like, what the fuck? Like, well, what did they ask you? She's like a whole bunch of shit, but I ain't going to testify. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. And you know, Lucia's like, you know what, just just don't chill out. We'll figure it out. And then all of a sudden, Andre come in. And Rhonda right behind him talking about, I thought I heard your voice, you bitch, and just went straight after 
Boo Boo Kitty. I'm like, Wanda, you ain't do a good enough job for somebody who you think killed your damn baby. Because I would have went straight. Man, it would have been more than just a choking, bitch. It would have been more than just that one damn punch. I'm just saying. But she going off or whatever. They trying to separate them. When they separate them, that's when uh, Rhonda yells out, talking about, bitch, you pushed me. You know what I'm saying? And they all like, what the fuck? She didn't push you. Talking about, I saw them damn same red flat Louis Vuittons or red bottoms or whatever, bitch. I saw them, bitch. Them the same ones I seen when I was down on them damn steps, uh, quenching for my damn life. And my baby was dying. You know, and Boo Boo kitty like i didn't do it everybody uh, cookie talking about i got a pair of shoes and all this stuff she's talking about why would you think that she's like fuck that shit she said andre tell him man tell him what we talked about andre ass gonna sit up here and tuck his motherfucking tail talking about i'm sorry about this or whatever ronda looking like nigga what after how many times i done sucked your ass off after we lost this damn baby you want to now oh fuck that shit you know fuck you i'm leaving she walks out or whatever that's when um ronda and um no, before she walked out, Boo Boo Kitty talking about, you know, she's crazy, I didn't do anything, and Lucia talking about thirsty, I'm gonna take her to the back and get the security because, you know, they need security on her because, you know, they want her to testify. My thing is, Boo Boo Kitty, you a damn good actress. I don't give a fuck. She did it, y'all. She fucking did it. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. They gonna find that shit out. But let's go and get to some more shit. All right, so after that, Rhonda and um, Andre in the back or whatever, arguing, going back and forth. She's talking about, what about your visions and shit? She's talking about, baby, what about the medication, all this shit? And that's when, you know, basically, Rhonda was like, look, motherfucker, remember half of the shit that I did for you? I understand you got a uh, little bipolar shit from your damn grandma, but don't get it twisted. You also got uh, Lucia's killer streak in you, too. Remember that shit that I did with Uncle Vernon for your ass? And that's what she, um, Andre was talking about, well, it was self-defense. I mean, yeah, it was because she came in and seen, you know, Vernon trying to hurt Andre, but still, you know what I'm saying? She like, I don't give a fuck if it was an accident or not. I still did what the fuck I had to do to make sure we was good. So you need to make sure or you need to do something to make sure we good after this bitch done took our baby. You need to believe me or some shit because I ain't going motherfucking crazy after all this shit I did. So she like, you know what? I'm about to go chill. And when my husband come back, my real motherfucking husband that I married come back, you give me a contact and not a minute less because I miss my real husband. And she walked clean smooth off. Andre, your ass is in the doghouse. I'm just saying. Let's go and get to some more shit. All right. Cookie and Lucius, they all talking. Lucius played some music to make sure ain't nobody eavesdropping. Mm -hmm. And they basically had this whole story about, you know, the whole thing with Tommy and Rosie and um and Shine or uh, whatever, how they all got together and all this stuff. The whole situation about how Shine was just this old ghetto ass nigga that really ain't got no good ass music. And he basically no shit. And he run his motherfucking mouth. That's why they put his ass in his place. Or should I say they ain't a part of the, you know, the killer amigo clan or should I say the ghetto amigo clan or whatever. And after that, um. Um, uh, Cookie was like, you know what? We had to do what we had to do for that shit to stay buried. Do what we got to do because we ain't got time for secrets coming up, especially with these feds on our asses. So, look, we got to make sure whatever we did in our path stays buried. So, do what the fuck you got to do. Okay? All right. Let's go and get to some more shit. All right, next, um, Cookie come through with her clearance wallpaper fashion uh, outfit on. I did not like that outfit. I did not like it. I like how she stood in there, look at that nigga at the door, like, nigga, you know who the fuck this is. But she's going to go see uh, Sean Reynolds, which is um, Exhibit or whatever. He over there bitching about some motherfucking Twizzlers, I guess. Cookie come in there all talking, talking about, look, man, we need you to cooperate with us. We don't. We got the feds on our asses. We don't need no extra shit because if Lucius go down, you go down, we all go down. So why don't you just keep your mouth shut and do what we got to do till this shit is over with or whatever. Sean was talking about, look, man, Lucius owed me. I don't want no motherfucking money. I want Lucius' publications on my nephew, whatever. He can't get a break. And also, I want Hakeem to be a part of the song. And I want to come to the motherfucking wedding because obviously my invitation got lost in the mail. So Cookie like, shit, all right, cool, fine. If this will keep your mouth shut. Then he plays the music of his uh, cousin whatever sound trash. Like, oh my God. Even Cookie face said all Cookie like, yeah. And then when he, uh, when um, Exhibit looked back at her, she like, yeah, bitch, yeah, mm -hmm. Fucker, please. Bitch, think of this nigga here. That's basically how Cookie was looking. But she gonna do what she gotta do to keep it cute and then get this shit done because you already know she ain't got time for the feds. It's all about empire. Let's go and get to some more shit. All right, Jamal is home. The boys brought him home or whatever. They tell him, you know, if you need anything, call me. I love you and stuff. He's talking about he good. As um, 
Andre and Hakeem are in the elevator. They all talking, talking about, you know, so Rhonda left. And Andre said, you know, Rhonda went to L.A. to go with her friends or her college friends to see something about a jewelry store and she'll be back or whatever. You know, she just needs some time. And Hakeem agreed, you know, she'll be back. She needs some time. And then that's when they say, you know, we worried about Jamal and all that stuff. And you think, you know, Lucia's going to help. And Andre was like, when the fuck did Lucia's ever help somebody, especially his own damn son, for the good? I agree. I agree. So we're going to see how that goes down. So lo and behold, um, Lucia's ass. Went to go see Philo for whatever, doing these fucking mind tricks. And Philo, I don't know why you fell for this shit. He talking about, you broke my heart, Philo. You broke my heart. You know, you shot up, you shot me, you shot my son. Well, how'd you do it? And she talking about, nigga, you killed my damn daddy. Talking about, I didn't do that. I took you under my wing. I see something special in you. I didn't put a finger on your dad. I mean, technically he did it, but he had them damn uh, prison ass goons come after his ass. So technically, you was the puppet master that pulled the strings, Lucia. So don't even do it, okay? You guilty. Anybody who see this shit going on and don't say nothing is fucking guilty. Your ass is guilty. You set the shit up. So hell, she got every right. But you know, Philo eventually, you know, winds down. He um when he brings up Jamal, that's when he's um uh, he asks, you know, do you care about Jamal? Talking about, of course. I care about Jamal. That's when Philo softened. So I don't know how the hell. Maybe Lucius got some pull or the damn um correctional officer turned his head. But Lucius sitting up here got this damn song with this music and wrote these lyrics that he want uh Philo to uh rap to get you know Jamal out of this funk or whatever to help him get back to the music. I think he got alternative motives. Uh Philo like nigga, I got a free sound. I don't need your shit. True, true. She over there do the song. The song sounds nice or whatever. So now he got a little piece of music to help Jamal get out of this funk. I do not believe uh, Lucius at all. Philo, do not fall for him. You should have shot his ass good, girl. But we understand. He killed your daddy. Don't fall for that shit. Talk about, um... Talking about that's what Carol told him. That's what Philo said. Talking about you gonna really believe a crackhead? I understand that. But I'm with random TV reviews. Everybody know a sober heart is, or should I say a sober mind is spoken when your ass is either on crack or some type of drug or damn show liquor. Because when you drunk, you speak a sober mind, okay? Or should I say a sober heart or however you feel. You know what that slogan is. So, I don't know. I understand that. But Carol wasn't lying. Lucius, your ass going to get caught up. Philo, you did the right thing. I just wish you would have shot his ass instead of Jamal. But, you know, he did the moment. So, we're going to see how this new music helps Jamal. Let's go and get to some more shit. All right, Lucius goes over to Jamal's house talking about um, he tried to get Philo for Laura and all this shit, but Philo don't want shit from him. And, you know, Jamal was like, she got integrity. Um, integrity, she ain't got time for your bullshit. And that's when uh, Lucius played a song for Jamal or whatever, talking about, you know, Philo uh, wrote this for you and all of this bullshit. Maybe this will help. He played a song or whatever. Philo listened to it. She did a good job. And, of course, it got to Jamal because now Jamal, he went back to writing or whatever. And then we see the damn goat. He got his little voice back. I thought he digested them damn cans when he was in healing, you know what I'm saying, for them three weeks, but obviously he did. So now Jamal is back to yodeling, I guess. Let's go and get to some more shit. All right, so after the goat got finished stuffing more cans down his throat so he can, you know, try to get a tune out, we see Hakeem and them, um, and Lucius and them having basically the family, um, dinner with um his wife or soon to be wife you know, main fajita me and they family whatever talking you know getting getting to know the in-laws and you know main fajita me daddy like look we heard that you was um inviting sean reynolds or whatever he's notorious we ain't got time for this bullshit we need to guarantee my child's safety because you damn lions y'all got a rep and y'all motherfuckers come with some bullshit you know and i um Lucius was like, you know, um, yes, I invited him, you know, his friend and family, all this shit, ain't nothing gonna happen. And that's when, um, Hakeem basically coming in and talking about, look, my daddy might have invited Sean, but that ain't got shit to do with it. We trying to start off some new memories, break the cycle, like Jamal said, ain't nothing gonna happen to my wife. She's good. She's in good hands. We're gonna make sure everything's good. That's what Hakeem promised the family. So now everybody all happy. Okay, we shall see. Let's go and get to some more shit. Uh, Jamal, you know, he's going over the whole, um, I guess the music for his brother's, uh, wedding song sounded pretty good. He all happy now making corrections, so now he back to the good or whatever. After that, Lucius and, ha um, and Cookie are in Empire or whatever. That's when Hakeem run in, talk about, Dad, we got an emergency. We see Boo Boo Kitty on the goddamn ledge. Also, Cookie, that pantsuit was so cute. But you, she on the ledge about to jump, talking about, I don't want to testify against him. They're going to put me in witness protection service. I'd rather kill myself than testify against Lucius. Why, bitch? I mean, first of all, you threaten 
to motherfucking go in on Lucia so now you don't want to do it because you got a family. Bitch, I think it's because you holding that baby and you don't want to be broke. You got accustomed to a lifestyle. That's why you saying that shit. I guess. Anyways, um, Cookie was like, you know, we got you. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be all right. Lucia's like, bitch, just hold it off for two days. We're going to get this together. And that's when... um. Cookie was like, you know what, bitch? You are carrying my grandson. You know what I'm saying? You got family. You a lion now, so you're going to always have family. And I'm guessing the fact that she brought up the fact that she's a lion, she's going to always be good. That's when Boo Boo Kitty just basically stopped crying and got off the ledge. Bitch, bye. I'm just saying, you mean to tell me you're going to kill yourself because you don't want to testify against him, but a couple of episodes ago, you was all down for it when he was threatening your baby and all of that shit. I don't give a fuck. Something ain't right about that, bitch. Again, you just want the damn money if you ask me. I, that's all I think you really, you know, try to do all this shit for. But I guess she good now. Let's go and get to some more shit. Anyways, y'all, back to what I was saying. So next we see um, Jamal and D-Lo, Derek, whatever, having this little uh, session, whatever. Um, I like how Jamal changed the, uh, the choir, even though they sounded really good. Changed the song to um, Loving You instead of the ooh, ooh, oohs and all that shit. D-Lo, Derek, talking about, I came by to check on you, but your daddy wouldn't let me through. Nigga, get your ass on. You just, whatever. I think Jamal is enjoying this attention, but you need to watch out for him, Jamal. Jamal starts feeling the Holy Ghost for a quick second and starts, uh, you know, getting up, walking around. So, Jamal, you was just upset and depressed. Okay. I understand and you know obviously he was feeling a little bit too much you know the Lord reminded him nigga you ain't all the way healed because he started feeling some damn pain and started falling and stuff and when he started falling that's when we see D-Lo Derek talking about you okay you okay oh lord D-Lo Derek's sitting up here trying to um tell everybody look let's just finish this rehearsal tomorrow um Jamal like hell no my brother wedding is tomorrow we ain't got time for this bullshit I ain't got time for no dick right now I'm in pain and I'm in uh, full producer mode music mode get the fuck on okay D-Lo look chill so D-Lo go over there and sit down or whatever. They get back to the whole rehearsal thing. And you can see Jamal, like I said, is enjoying his attention because he over there smiling. That nigga don't give a fuck about you, Jamal. I don't think he do. I think he got alternative motives. Be careful. But let's go and get to some more shit. All right. After that, we see Cookie and Lucius. They all talking. She thanking him for what um, he did with Jamal to get Jamal back into the music funk or whatever. And then that's when we see Lucius basically bearing his little feelings, talking about I should have never let you go, you know, um basically you see why i've never really gotten married and all that stuff cookie like look lucius we ain't got time for this shit it's probably the liquor talking we need to just focus on our motherfucking son's wedding and shit and we'll worry about us later and then that's when cookie make this little joke talking about well maybe we might get married and lucius like mm, i like maybe she's talking about nigga bye she gets up and walk away and that's when um lucius was like you know i like to watch you walk away she's talking about, mm -hmm, and she does this little twerk i'm like okay cookie but hey I think Lucius was serious about that. Well, that's your karma. That's what you get for letting, letting go a good woman. But, hey, it is what it is. Let's go and get to some more shit. All right, next, everybody getting ready for the wedding. I was kind of shocked how Mama Walker was just sitting there. Did you see your grandsons get naked? I'm just wondering. She says everybody looks cute, but then shades the fuck out of Hakeem talking about Hakeem. I don't know why I thought she was ugly. Really, Grandma Walker? That's some bullshit. But okay, they all talking whatever, and Andre asks, no, uh, Jamal asks, well, what did you mean about us paying for our dad's sins or whatever? And then uh, that's when Mama Walker was like, the white don't want me talking about it. Andre was like, nigga, just, well, not nigga, but grandma, we all human, just, we all done some fucked up shit. Go ahead and tell her. Y'all excuse that. But anyways, after that, um, she gets to talking or whatever, and she says, you know, um, I guess uh, something basically, something happened to Joe. Joe deserved to die, or whatever, some shit like that. And that's when we see a flashback or whatever. And then Lucius come in and say, don't believe any motherfucking thing she says. And then she's, uh, we see Hakeem talking about, all right, look, let's get to this wedding, complain about meeting the guest or whatever. Andre like, nigga, that's what you got to do. And Lucius and Mama Walker give, this, give each other this crazy ass stare down like, nigga, I'm watching you. She's like, nigga, I don't give a fuck. I'm watching you too. But I'm just saying that's how it was. But hey, it is what it is. Next, we got the little wedding scene or whatever. V, she sounded amazing. She looked cute. Get it? Boo, boo. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Portia um, is mad as hell. Talk about y'all ain't bring no chicken, no pork, no chops, no pork chops, no nothing, no sausages, bitch. I had to bring my own damn donut. I said, Portia, you a damn fool. And Andre, not Andre, but Hakeem looking like, Portia, shut the hell up. Go on with that. Come here, girl. I'm saying, that shit was funny as hell, Porsche. I like you. And then that's when we see Thirsty watching Mama Walker like a damn hawk. Like, mm hmm, you better, because remember happened the last time you let out of your sight. After that, we see uh, Tommy and uh, Rosie. I don't know why I thought Rosie was a woman. I, I really did. Um, talking to um, Cookie and all that. I was like, Cookie look cute in that purple with that damn crystal pineapple. I was like, uh oh, bikini pie. Uh, not bikini, but bikini bottom meet the hood. Okay, that was cute. Go on, SpongeBob. And then after that, um, they all talking or whatever. Hakeem come in. They was like, Hakeem, you read this? Was Rosie was saying something? I've been married three times and I done got me a motherfucking me um 
three alimonies, whatever, you know, all the stuff. I don't know shit about divorce. I ain't never been married, but obviously shit didn't go south three times in a row. So he's like, you know, be careful. And then um, that's when uh, Hakeem was like, I'm I'm good. I got this. I'm ready and all this stuff. And then that's when we see Jamal and Lucius coming in saying, hey, Rosie talking about I felt, uh, felt where you was coming from as far as, you know, what you did. Lucius think he talking about taking a bullet. He's talking about, no, it's what he said afterwards about leaving Empire and doing his own thing. And Lucius took him out. What the fuck you talking about? Stop trying to start some shit. He like, nigga, people got to fly on and do their own thing. You know, and that's when Jamal was like, thank you and stuff. And then mentions in that um, D-Lo is going to be producing his next album. Like, oh, Lord, I ain't... Mm. I guess with D Lo Derek, not D Major, I don't call him that. Then after that, we see Sean coming in with these old reject ass hoes that did not make the casting call for Players Club. These bitches got way more stab wounds and bullet wounds in their asses. He coming in like a nigga ain't never been no damn well. They all looking like, what the fuck? Are you serious? Like, these hoes look so busted. Where the hell did you sign, not sign, but find these hoes at? These hoes look worse than the hoes off of Bissonette. If you're from Houston, you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, they all um walking in there, turning up and all this bullshit. They all looking at him like, what the fuck? And this is when we see Tommy and um Rosie wondering why, why the hell Sean is here. So Tommy, Rosie, and um Lucius and Cookie go have a meeting in the back. And basically said, look, the feds are on our asses. We need pretty much uh, Sean here to basically show face and entertain and let everybody know that we good for this whole fed shit. Tommy and Rosie like, mm, I don't know. Man. We done had problems with Sean before. This shit don't sound good. You can take the hood you can take a nigga out the hood but you can't take a hood the hood out the nigga you know what i mean y'all but hey they all down for it they all gonna stay face for this uh fed shit or whatever especially to get through the wedding so with that being said we see main fajita me she all getting ready that dress was ugly as shit her daddy talking about, you know, Hakeem promised us that's one shit gonna happen, baby, you gonna be good. So they all happy, whatever, they headed to the ceremony. While everybody's getting ready, getting their place and stuff, we see Boo Boo Kitty going up to um Hakeem, telling Hakeem that everything is gonna work out, everything is good. Then all of a sudden, some bitch come up to uh, Boo Boo Kitty and say, you been served, drops the shit and just runs off. Why was she running like that? She runs past uh Exhibit, a.k.a. Shine, and pushes Shine, and then the bodyguard is going after the girl, uh, comes, you know, comes towards Shine, and Shine just hit him. I'm like, what the fuck you hit him for? For it. He ain't even after you, and that's when all the shit just goes south. There's a big ass fight happen. The bodyguards basically uh, getting shine out of there, not even worried about the other bitch. We see main fajita me coming out of the damn, you know, coming from the back, and she see that shit. And she like, what the fuck? And that's when uh, Tommy, um, basically not Tommy, but Rosie yell out, talking about get your ghetto ass up out of here, shine. That's why we keep your ghetto ass in place. And I was like, oh shit, you done fucked up everything, shine. Look like you ain't getting no publications. Oh well. After that, um. May Fahidi Me is watching. Hakeem runs up to May Fahidi Me talking about, baby, we done had an issue, but I got it all under control. She like, look, I ain't got time for this shit. I'm tired. I don't want to be a part of this shit. I can't do it. You know, her daddy talking about, y'all ain't nothing but a whole bunch of thugs. Hold on, because Jamal ain't no motherfucking thug, so don't do it with that judgmental shit. Anyways, so she like, I can't do it. I can't do this. I'm leaving. And Hakeem talking about, baby, I got this. Please don't go. I was like, oh, Hakeem heartbroken. He turned around and looked at Cookie. Even his mama knew, like, baby, God damn it. So he all upset and shit. They all run to the back or whatever because since Boo Boo Kitty got served, now they got to be thinking on their toes. Boo Boo Kitty talking about, I'll do whatever I got to do not to testify. Lucius over there kicking out waiters and all that stuff, hurting people. Like, they ain't got shit to do with it, Lucius. Damn. And they all talking and shit, and that's when Boo Boo Kitty, um, no, not Boo Boo Kitty, but Lucius like, well, just marry me. And um, that's when um, Thirsty like, what the fuck? Uh, we need to get married. Like, she's talking about, no, we already got one from the time we was engaged in D.C. Just marry me and you ain't got to testify or whatever. And Cookie like, hold on, what the fuck? Wait a minute, bitch. Lucia's talking about, I need you. I need you for this one. I need you to be right or die. She's talking about, hold on, bitch. I done saved this hoe from jumping off of a damn ledge. I am not about to let this bitch come in here and ruin my motherfucking life. I'm CEO of this company. This bitch is not finna become uh, Mrs. Lyon and think she finna take my shit from me. Fuck that. But, you know, she was like, you know, I love my family because, you know, Lucia's talking about do it for the family and all that. She's talking about, you know, I love my family. I love my boys, but I can't do this shit. I done did 17 years. I'm not about to go through this shit. No. And walk clean, smooth off, and I don't blame her for it. So, Boo Boo Kitty and uh, Lucia's Done got married. Lucius being shady as fuck. Don't even want to kiss the bitch when they saying I do. Barely anybody was in there. There's probably people that's probably waiting for their Uber ride or a taxi. Um, I'm just saying. They all looking all mad and shit. Hakeem looking all hurt when he hear the damn um, wedding song. Because, you know, he told... um. Lucia told Jamal to sing after they said I do. He all hurting even more. I was like, oh, poor Hakeem. Jamal looking like, what the fuck? Like, I can't even do this. And even before they even said I do, Jamal was like... K 
can we break this cycle? Y'all some sick motherfuckers. And then, you know, Hakeem, like, she carrying my baby dad. But Andre, like, look, the cycle is going to go on until it ends, until it's ready to end. Until then, we got to do what we got to do. So, you know, like I said, while they're walking down the aisle, whatever, Lucia's and Boo Boo Kitty, this is what Lucia's tell Boo Boo Kitty, bitch, I know you pushed her. I know you did. She's talking about, well, let me go get some fresh air. I knew you pushed her, bitch. I knew it. After that, um, we see um, the whole ceremony thing. They all leaving and shit. They all coming out or whatever. And then that's when we see Tariq meeting up with Lucius, whatever, to talk. Talking about, oh, okay, let me congratulate you on these unholy matrimony shit. I was like, okay, I know that's right. And that's when uh, they all talking and shit. And uh, Lucius over there cackling jokes. Talking about, Aren't you just tired of coming after me, wasting taxpayers' money? And that's when Mama uh, Walker was like, shit, uh, Dwight, how do you know your half-brother? Shit. That's when we see a flashback of, uh, you know, Lucius and his uh, uh, daddy or whatever come to find out. That's when it was revealed. Uh, talking about, you know, are you going to kill a cop? This is what Joe says. Talking about, what about your son? And he was like, shit, that boy ain't mine. That's your son. And now both Dwight and him can grow up without a daddy. And shot Joe. Clean, smooth in the head. I was like, shit. Tyree talking about, oh, you didn't know? Yeah, my dad was, well, our dad was a cop, but he was a bad man. Looks like we done got half of him. I'm just saying. Lucius talking about, nigga, you ain't no family of mine. I'm Lucius. I ain't no damn Dwight. I got my family. They all walk off. Andre, um, Lucius tell Andre to go get Boo Boo Kitty. Boo Boo Kitty on the motherfucking ledge trying to get some damn breather. Who was that bitch that was walking in the black uh, past Andre, though? I don't know about that. But anyways, Boo Boo Kitty over there talking. Next minute, we see Rhonda coming after her ass, choking her, talking about, uh, what did Rhonda say? Talking about, um, what did she say? I forgot what she said. Uh, some shit she's talking about, bitch. You um you um you were wanted the only you wanted to be the only one that had an error, some shit like that, you know, whatever she said. And Boo Boo Kitty was like, That's right, bitch, I did it. I told you she did it. They tussling going back and forth over um towards the ledge. That's when Andre come through there and all of a sudden we see Andre screaming no and we hear somebody fall. So I don't know who fell, y'all. I think it was Boo Boo Kitty or Rhonda, but somebody fell, maybe both of them. We shall see. And that's pretty much how it ended. I liked it, you know. Now we got some questions to ask who dead, who lived. We don't know where the hell is Cookie. I want to know because she just left. So we don't know, y'all. We're going to see. But anyways, y'all, that is the end of my review. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm Miss Tink. That's M-I-Z-Z, -Z, not M-I-S-S. The channel is Natural Power Sister TV. Now I'm finna take this big headed girl, aka my sister, back home for her interview. Good luck, T. Good luck, T. Good luck, T. Y'all wish my sister good luck on this interview, okay? And I'm gonna let y'all say hey to my sister for a quick second. Say hey to this whore. <laughs> hey. That's my older sister, T, y'all. Ain't she beautiful? Good luck, T. We love you, girl. And you're gonna watch this Empire video too now. But, anyways, bye, y'all. This is.